All right, so I hope you enjoyed the book, The Mitten by Jan Brett. I think that's really neat that you can hear her actually reading her own book. Her art style is really unique, and uh, I've always really enjoyed looking at it. So what we're going to make today is we're going to make some mittens, like in the book, and uh, we're going to use a pencil and white paper, then scissors, glue stick, and crayons, and we're going to make some colorful pattern mittens, and we're going to cut them out and stick them onto some other colored paper, and add some snowflakes. So first things first, we need to make our mittens. Uh, not a lot of people wear mittens now, but they're much easier to draw because uh, you can trace your hand, but instead of having to go around every finger, you just put all your fingers together. Now my hands are much bigger than yours, so let's see if I can fit both hands onto this paper. What you're going to do with tracing is uh, use a pencil, don't use a sharpie like this because you might mark on your hand. I'm going to try and be really careful here. But I'm just going to hold my hand still with all my fingers together and I'm going to put my pencil on the outside of my hand and just slowly go around every corner. Try not to go too fast so that you don't make any mistakes. Now here at the edge of my fingers, instead of trying to go around each finger, I'm just going to go big curve like I am pretend wearing some mittens. All right. And when I lift my hand up, I've got a mitten. And now let's see, I might need to turn my paper so I can fit another one here. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, I'm going to trace my other one. And you may be wondering, hey, Mr. Henley, isn't that going to give you two left hands? Because that'd be kind of weird, right? You've got a right hand and a left hand, not two left hands. Well, it's okay. When I cut them out, I can flip one of them over, and you'll never know that it was my left hand twice. Okay, so I got that. Next, I'm going to need to cut them out, right? So when you're cutting them out, going around those curves can be kind of tricky. So don't worry if you mess up a little bit. If your thumb ends up kind of square instead of curved, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm actually kind of kind of cheating here because I'm, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm cutting through two papers at the same time. And I'm doing that so you don't have to sit through watching me cut for too long. I'm not all that great at editing videos, so, you know, a lot of people on videos would just cut to when they have it done. But I'm going to try sort of a more old-fashioned shortcut here. Let's see how it goes. Alright, let's see if it worked. So I've got a left hand. And sweet, I got a right hand also. All right, so the next job for you is you're going to use your crayons and you are going to fill these full of patterns and color. If you want to draw a picture on them, that's fine. Think of what sort of mittens you would like to wear. All right, so I've got my mittens all decorated here. And you know, I didn't make them match, which is quite all right. So on this one here, I did some, some different patterns and colors. And then on this one here, I wanted to draw a picture, so I, I put one of my favorite video game characters, the Jumbo Cactuar from Final Fantasy. Now, my hands, like I said, are much bigger than yours, so mine really don't fit on this paper very well. But that's okay. Uh, it's all right if they hang off the edge. So the next step is I've got to glue them in place. And to do that, make sure you don't twist up your glue stick too far. You want it to last. I'm going to put the glue for mine. I'm actually going to put it on the blue paper so it doesn't stick on everything else around it. And you want to make sure that you get it covered. And then hold it down, but don't, don't hit the table or anything because that will be way too noisy. All right, and then I'm going to get this one glued down. Same thing, I'm just going to kind of scoot it over so I can see where I want to put the glue. Uh, glue sticks are 
quick drying, but they're not very strong. So make sure you put enough glue on there to get it to stick. All right. Once you've got it glued in place, make sure you twist your glue stick back down and put the lid on so it doesn't get dried out. You've got to take good care of our art supplies. Then on this colored paper, one very important thing you've got to put on there, of course, is your name. So I'm going to put my name up here in the corner. And you can see I'm using a white crayon because I've got kind of a dark colored paper here. I'm going to put Mr. Henley up there and then the rest of this space what maybe we'll get this year, which we haven't gotten in quite a while, is some snow. Let me show you a really easy way to draw a snowflake here. So if you draw a line straight up and down, and then one side to side, and then let's see how well that's picking up on the camera. Oh, pretty good. Then let's make a little X in here. Kind of like how we drew stars before, the easy way to draw stars. Now, snowflakes have also got little lines on the ends of them and they're pretty much the same all the way around so if i draw a little arrow here then i need to put the same thing down here and over on this side and over on this side now you can add whatever, whatever shapes you want to it i could do some lines on here i could even put a circle in the middle or a bigger circle And you can add things to the ends of them. Just make sure you do the same thing all the way around. You can make really tiny snowflakes. And don't forget, if you're making really, really small ones, you just want to make dots. Don't hit your crayon on the paper because it's kind of like hitting the glued things down. It just gets too loud in the art room. But you can make dots very easily without a lot of noise by just putting your crayon down and twisting it. Then you can make lots of little tiny snowflakes without making lots of big noises, right? So fill your paper with snowflakes or any other details that you'd like to add to it. And thanks for a little unusual art class today. Hopefully I'll see you back at school the next time. Thanks. Bye.